There's something so peaceful about just sitting in front of an aquarium, a paludarium, an enclosure that has a body of water and just watching the animals, listening to the water. It's so nice, honestly. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion, and you're watching Reptiliatus. In today's video, I thought I'd give you guys an update on my Chinese crocodile lizards, Shinisaurus crocodilurus. Now, you guys may recall that, I guess it'd be about three months ago now, maybe even longer than that, I wanted to make a video where I was going to feed these animals a bunch of earthworms and kind of call it, jokingly, like a living spaghetti feeding video. What I forgot to remember is that red wiggler worms release a very bitter mucus when something tries to consume them. And so as soon as I started offering the red wiggler worms to these animals, they spat them up. Well, fortunately I now have some trout worms, which are night crawlers, and so those should work just fine. So what I'm thinking is we do a little update, show you guys the animals, cross our fingers that they're gonna come out of hiding, and we can give them some living spaghetti right here. It's been months since I fed my crocodile lizards some earthworms. I didn't actually do it on video, so you guys didn't get a chance to see that, but now you do. So yeah, should be pretty fun. If you're new to this channel, definitely consider subscribing down below and then dinging the notification bell afterwards so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. I upload videos every Tuesday and Friday. Okay everybody, so here is the paludarium in all its glory. As you can see since the upgrade video, link up above if you missed that, lots of plants have grown and well, the pothos is really exploding, it's climbing everywhere. You can still see that the creeping ficus is climbing everywhere. We have one of my male Shinisaurus here. I'm going to try to get these doors open without him moving, but I am doubtful it'll work. Hopefully. Nice and slow. He's very cautious. Okay, I'm very happy that that worked. So this is my male, Shinisaurus. He's just enjoying some UVB. There's a 5.0 UVB light there. Oftentimes the females will be here basking for a few hours during the day. And then there's a small Zoomed ceramic heat emitter here. And they'll often come into this foliage because they like to stay hidden or up against the cork here and bask and warm up. Just a little micro basking area because these animals actually don't like being kept very warm. And in fact, keeping them too warm can lead to disease and illness. So I keep them a bit on the cooler side. Perhaps we'll do a care video at some point. But yeah, so they're doing really well, as I always like to say. And it's a great thing to be able to say about your pets. <laughs> All right, everybody. So here are the trout worms. We're keeping them in the fridge. Beautiful. There you can see them all hanging out. So I just have a designated container I use for my animals. I'm going to pour some RO water on it. Yeah, we're going to wash these off. They're also really cold, so that's part of the reason why I'm doing this, just to kind of warm them up. Now keep in mind that earthworms can drown, so we don't want them in there too, too long. But we obviously do want them coming out of the soil. Give them a good rinse. I think there's still one in here. Yep. Maybe even more. Let's double check. Looks like that's everybody. Perfect. Oh boy, guys. This is going to be quite the snack for the shinies. So friends, when it comes to feeding animals that live in a paludarium, I find that one of the most challenging aspects is ensuring that firstly, the prey that you are offering to these said animals don't drown if they're not aquatic, which can be really tricky because if you're throwing a bunch of crickets into the enclosure, they fall into the water. If they don't make it to land quickly, they drown, they don't get to your animal. So that aspect and also supplementation because if they fall into the water, the supplement washes off and are they actually getting supplemented? So there are a few things I do to combat this. I offer an array of different prey and I also tongue feed the animals. This can ensure that I am firstly feeding my animals sufficiently, they're getting enough food, and I can make sure that I'm supplementing prey that actually ends up in the animal's mouth and body. So 
That seems to be working pretty well thus far. However, it's also tricky getting these really shy guys out in the open to feed, especially for these types of feeding video. Believe me when I say it's a rare phenomenon for them to just be out in the open like this. They do it, especially throughout the day, but for me to come here and say I want to film a video on them, I'd be betting a lot of money to think that one of them is going to actually be out presenting itself. So we're lucky my boy is out. He may scoot away soon. In any case, I've come up with a way that you've probably heard me mention before that really works well in getting them out. And that's tossing a bunch of crickets in the enclosure. By doing so, they start hunting and coming out in the open and we can tongue feed them the earthworms. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to toss a bunch of crickets in. They're currently on my Arcadia Pro supplement routine. So we're rotating with the Calcium Pro MG and the Earth Pro most of the week. And then yeah, they're using the Zoomed 5.0 UVB right now. So yeah, today we're doing the Earth Pro. I'm gonna dust the crickets with that and then we're going to toss them into the enclosure. All right guys, so you can see I just have a few crickets dusted in the Earth Pro A Arcadia supplement, which I highly recommend by the way. Let's go ahead and see now if these Shinisaurus will eat. So I'm literally just gonna, I'm just gonna throw a bunch of crickets like that onto the wall. And you're probably gonna notice some Shinisaurus coming out into the open very soon if they notice the crickets. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna film a little time lapse and we'll see if they come out and start hunting. So if I'm being honest, that was a little less exciting than I had hoped for. Um, <laughs> male didn't do anything, but my most bold female is now out in the open from previously being hidden in the water behind the kangaroo fern. So we'll work with that. Guys, it's time to get in here and feed them some earthworms. Oh, here's hoping this goes over well. Round one. Shinisaurus are known to be very receptive to eating these, so hopefully he's gonna go for it. My, now my concern is the female's gonna steal it from him. Oh yeah, go ahead buddy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep, I saw that coming. I don't ask for it buddy. Okay, do we want to try that again while she's eating? Shot. Here bud, come on. No! Stop stealing the food! Okay, you can have this one up here. And I'm gonna try again to feed this male. Come on, buddy. You know you want it. Yep, yep, yep. You're licking. I can see you under that leaf. Really a weird spot. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. As you can see, the worm is doing everything it can to stop this lady from eating it, it's releasing some mucus, but fortunately, it's not bitter like the red wiggler's mucus, if that makes sense. But look at it, it's spinning around. So this doesn't seem to be phasing her. Mucus, she's just going for it anyways. Ooh. All right guys, so I'm trying something different. I'm literally hanging the earthworm on the branch, hoping this guy is gonna change his mind and go for it. Come on, buddy, you gotta be kidding me. Maybe if we move it higher up the branch. 
Oh, geez. Hard to keep a grip on this thing. And this is what I meant when I said feeding animals in paludariums isn't really easy. Okay, I'm going to try and feed a female that is tucked away behind this fern. Hoping we can... Yep, 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 here she comes. Here she is. Oh, good girl. My concern right now is that if she doesn't eat this, someone else is gonna steal it. Okay, good. She's making some quick work of that. All right, let's see if she wants another one. Let's see what she makes of it. She looks very uh, scared. I really hope you guys can appreciate how challenging feeding these animals on camera is. It's one thing to be able to just kind of get in there and tongue feed them for my own enjoyment. When I bring out the tripod, the light ring, the phone, it changes things a lot. Anyhow, let's keep trying at this. We still have a decent amount of worms left to feed off. Finally getting the shy grail to eat some worms. Makes me very happy to see. Hopefully if she stays there, we can offer her a few more to ensure that she's got a really good meal. Oh, perfect. 
Yes, you did a great job. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you guys, what do you feed earthworms to? Do you have any pets that eat and enjoy earthworms? I feel like they're sort of a more niche feeder animal. I don't know, let me know what you feed earthworms to. I imagine right off the top of my head that people that are keeping different types of amphibian are probably gonna come forward and comment about this, but I've been surprised before. Who knows, maybe we'll get some chickens and other things. Awesome, let me know and as always, I'll give your comment a heart and we'll engage in a little bit of a conversation. Also, I want to mention that, guys, we are getting close to 100K, and I am just <laughs> so appreciative and excited. This is an incredible milestone for me. As you all know, 100,000 subscribers means that I will receive my silver play button on YouTube, and it's one of those things that you just dream of getting as a YouTuber, and knowing that you've all allowed me to get this far, that the work I put into this has gotten me here, I'm so appreciative, guys. I don't want to get emotional, Whew. but yeah, honestly, thank you. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop laughing. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's always fun seeing the Shinisaurus crocodilirius. They're such interesting animals, and quite frankly, true treasures in my pet family. It's not every day that you even get to see these animals, let alone watch them eat and do their thing. They're really rare, so I hope you liked what you saw today. As always, I appreciate everybody's support. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you'd like to take it a step further in your support to this channel besides your viewership, I have a Patreon page linked down below where you can choose to support me for as little as $2 a month, as well as my merch store. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for your support and viewership. It means the world to me. We're chugging along, making our way to that 100K. Woo! As always, I'll see you guys in another video again soon. Have a fantastic weekend, and see you all on Tuesday. And if you want to see more videos about Shinisaurus, check out my dedicated playlist up above right here, where you can check out more videos about these incredible animals. Awesome. Bye, guys.